so I think people need to understand that um, AI is here. It is not leaving. And you need to find a way to embrace it. And if you aren't using it and saying, hey, go go figure out how to do this or go go work with AI. No, 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 no. You get into it. You use Fly Message as an example. You write your thought leadership post, which, by the way, we have what's called Fly Posts. You can click on start a post, put in a topic, and the AI will write it right there inside of LinkedIn for you, right? So uh, with that in mind, I think that's one of the key things is being able to uh, engage um, correctly and to use AI and then look for the productivity savings. Not just does it do the job. And here's where I really get frustrated at with reps and leaders. Oh, the AI is not good. Why? Well, I don't like that comment. Okay, got it. Let me ask you this question. Before this product, what did you do? Well, I would just like a post. So you mean you didn't comment at all? Right. So with this comment, could you edit it? Well, yeah, but I don't want to sit here and edit it. Right, because you've got dummy on your forehead. Now, let's think about this. Hold on. I Even if I got you 50% better with chat GPT or fly message or you fill in the blank, is that better than where you were? And that's one of the struggles that I see, um, Doug, that's out there is we're looking AI should not replace the seller's thinking. It should augment the seller. Otherwise, go out and get an AI bot to do all the sales and uh, engagement. I don't need you to make phone calls. I could use a bot to do that. I don't need you to, do, to send emails through SalesLoft, Apollo, Outreach. I can use AI to do that, and I can put it through a uh, spray and pray approach into uh, that. I don't need you to go out there and do a LinkedIn engagement because I can have an automatic bot that opens up all my target profiles, customers, write a response and hit post and automate that. I could do that. I could build that technology stack and avoid a salesperson. But what you're missing is the contextual relevance, the humanization of engagement. And that's where a lot of sales leaders and sales reps are going awry at is new technology. It doesn't work for me. But oh, but wait a minute. You really forgot about what it really should do. And that is to augment you, not replace you. I, I totally agree. And there's some great uh, pearls that you just shared with the listeners. It has to be added to their sales excellence skills and focus. It doesn't replace that. It augments or supports that. And, you know, I use the, the Flintstones and the Jetsons. We can't sell as Fred Flintstone anymore. We're George Jetson. And AI is in support to allow us to get more FaceTime, email time, phone time, Zoom times. That's the only time we make money and when the intimacy and the true value exchange happen. Now, COVID, post-COVID, it's been nuanced by more video conferencing. But get face-to-face, -face, get belt buckle to belt buckle, because that's where the intimacy, the magic, the value happens. And AI is in support of getting you to claw back to automating some of those time sucks that used to take time away from getting belly to belly. And, and the other thing is that by utilizing your, your technology and the other great content that you have, this podcast, is it allows sales reps and sales leaders to not simply go with intuition. Everything is data-driven and a data-driven decision-making. AI, CRM, your marketing automation tool, look at that data in concert with gut and intuition. That's what great sales leaders are doing today. And that helps them improve line of sights into a small problem, performance problem, before it gets to a big one where you put them on a, a personal development plan or, or walk them off the door. But those predictive analytics that automates those mundane tasks and provides insights that were previously hard to obtain. And the, the, the unbelievable, it increases efficiency, sales performance. It enhances the messaging and communication with AI. It allows for real-time customer segmentation. And all those things affect the bottom line and the closing rate because they're able to 
really understand this technology as a sales leader, but more importantly, how do I roll this out to my sales team so they can claw back hours to get more live meetings, Teams, Zoom, that drive appointments, that drive meaningful conversations for mutual exchange of values, for proposals, for closures, top line, bottom line numbers. Love it. Great piece of advice. Uh, I would also say, I won't put it, this into the show notes, but we've got some several uh, resources that are available. Um, in fact, on Vingresso, we have the 100 of the best chat GPT prompts that are out there um, that we've created or we've added to that. Um, and we found, <clears throat> we've created this list. And then we also have uh, the best LinkedIn chat GPT prompts as well. So those are two resources. We'll put that in the show notes for anybody listening. Thank <laughs> you.